हेलो डियर स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू ई सी ई अकेडमी बेनिफेक्टर इन दिस क्लास वील बी सींग हाउ टू फाइंड द डाउन सैंपल वर्शन एंड अप सैंपल वर्शन ऑफ द डिस्क्रिट टाइम सिग्नल लेट इज स्टार्ट द क्लास द द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज कंसिडर द डिस्क्रिट टाइम सिग्नल एक्स ऑफ एन वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स सेवन एट नाइन टेन लेवन ट्वेल्व एक्स ऑफ एन इज गिवेन लाइक दिस डिटरमाइन द डाउन सैम्पल्ड वर्शन ऑफ द सिग्नल फॉर द सैम्पलिंग रेट प्रोटेक्शन फैक्टर कैपिटल डी इज इक्वल टू टू कैपिटल डी इज इक्वल टू थ्री कैपिटल डी इज इक्वल टू फोर वी हैव टू फाइंड द डाउन सैम्पल वर्शन फॉर टू डाउन सैम्पल वर्शन फॉर थ्री एंड फोर This topic is from multi-rate systems. Let us start the downsampling solution. Okay, so we have written x of n is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Here the arrow mark is not given. When the arrow is not the given, the first value is taken that it is at index zero. Time index zero at n is equal to zero. The am amplitude or the value is one, which is indicated here by an arrow sign. Okay, so what does it mean? X small x of zero value is how much here now? Small x of zero value is one. Okay, like this. X of one is two. X of two is three, and so on. So first part is we have to find. The discrete time signal decimated by a reduction factor two. Okay, so it is symbolically given by decimation. Decimation is given by x of x of n is given, and we are finding the down sample version of this x of n. So we write symbolically as x of capital D n. D value is given how much here two. So what it is x of D n is equal to x of two n. Means the discrete time signal decimated by a reduction factor two. So what we have to do to find the decimated uh, uh, decimated signal? D value is two. So D is equal to two means D minus one samples are to be neglected. D value is two. So two minus one one. So one sample is neglected after every sample. so this is a given sequence so first one we have to write as it is neglect this first one and then written three leave one one sample between every sample okay so first we'll get one then three five seven nine neglect 10 and write 11 so we have to neglect One sample because d value is two. Two minus one we have to neglect. Next one is x of d and down sample signal by three we have to find. So x d x of capital D n is equal to x of three n. What is its name? It is a discrete time signal decimated by reduction factor three. So how many samples you have to neglect between three means two samples. D is equal to three. So d minus one samples are to be neglected. Three minus one, so two samples will be neglected from the main sequence. So here one is written as it is, and then leave two two samples. What will be written next? Four. After four, leave two samples and then write seven. Leave two samples and then write ten, and then leave two samples. So we are getting it as one four seven ten. the next uh, part of this down sampling is when it is down sampled by 4 so down sample signal is represented by x of capital d n is equal to x of 4n its name is discrete time signal decimated by reduction factor 4 okay it's neglected and decimated by a reduction factor of 4 4 means you have to neglect three samples d minus 1 so d value is 4 So four minus one, three samples are to be neglected from the main sequence. If this is a given in this sequence, 
first we will write 1 and neglect 3 samples 1, 2, 3. So, we will neglect these 3 and we will get 5. After 1, 5. Neglect 3, 1, 2, 3. Then write 9. Neglect these 3. So, what is the sequence? 1, 5 and 9. So, the down x of 4 n is equal to 1, 5, 9. This arrow is indicating that the sequence is starting at n is equal to 0. So, in down sampling we are neglecting d minus 1 samples. Now, next part of this class is up sampling. We need to find the up sample signal of the given discrete time signal. The question is Consider the discrete time signal x of n is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4. Determine the upsampled version of the signal for sampling rate multiplication factor as i is equal to 2, i is equal to 3 and i is equal to 4. We have to find the upsampled version of the given discrete time signal. So, solution is x of n is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4. This is a given sequence. What does this one mean? it is x of 0. What is 2? x of 1. x of 2 value is 3. x of 3 value is 4. Okay. Now, we have to find the up sampled signal. So, for up sampled signal, the symbol is given by x of n by capital I. So, the first part is up sampled by 2. So, what is I value? 2 x of n by 2. Its name is discrete time signal interpolated or up sampled by multiplication factor 2. In interpolation or up sampling what we are doing? We are inserting i minus 1 zeros after every sample i minus 1. So, i value is here how much? 2. So, 2 minus 1 means 1. 1 0 is to be inserted after every sample. The given sequence is 1 2 3 4. So, for n by 2 what it will be 1 insert 0 0 2 0 3 0 4 0. So, after every sample insert i minus 1 sample i value is 2. So, we are inserting 1 1 0. Now, when i value is 3 i values 3 means i minus 1 sample zeros are to be inserted i minus 3 3 minus 1 is equal to 2. So, 2 zeros are to be inserted after every sample. So, 1, 2 zeros, 2, 2 zeros, 3, 2 zeros, 4, 2 zeros. Now, we have to find x of n by 4, where i value is 4 here. i value is 4 means how many zeros are to be inserted? 4 minus 1, 3 zeros are to be inserted after every sample. So, 1, triple 0, 2 triple 0, 3 triple 0, 4 triple 0. So, this is the up sampling. In up sampling, what you are observing? The sequence length is increased. So, it is symbolic up sampling is uh, up sampled signal is represented by x of n by i and down sampled uh, signal is represented by x of dn. So, here zeros are inserted and here samples are neglected. Okay. I hope you have understood the class. If you have any queries, you can post in the comment section. Good luck students.